and welcome back to the channel <clears throat> on this video I'm back on the aerial rider grizzly it's raining at the moment light rain it's 42 degrees and it feels like it's in the mid 30s at the moment It's been a while since I've taken out the Grizzly. Uh, I forgot to look. I was going to check and see when the last time I rode it, but it's been a good week or more than a week, I'm sure. So I wanted to get out here on the bike and uh, give it a ride. I've been riding the uh, graffiti so much lately. I, I don't want to go more than a week or so without riding the Grizzly, at least, at least once a week. back on the Grizzly. On the road again. Now I haven't done the uh, comparison video between the Lyric Graffiti and the uh, Grizzly yet. I'm kind of waiting for some nicer weather, but see the way it's going, it's going to take till April before we get some decent weather. It's been uh, crazy lately. We've had just about everything and well below uh, normal for us uh, for temperatures too lately. So it's been kind of weird. On this ride I'm out at about 2.30 in the afternoon so we've got kids getting out of school right now. I'm, I'm just right near a local school here. One thing I can tell you for sure about the two bikes between the Grizzly and the Graffiti is the Grizzly, Grizzly is most definitely a heavier bike by a lot. And I know I've added the E-Huntsman tires and that's going to put on an extra uh, five pounds or so too. This bike is definitely uh, heavier and you can feel it. The other thing I'm going to tell you for sure is that this bike sits up a lot higher. Uh, my feet don't touch the uh, ground, especially with the Huntsman tires on now. I, uh, my uh, toes hit the ground, but not my uh, feet. Get by these cars here. I should have turned off my front motor, I was making me skid. So uh, yeah, the seat height and the, uh, the weight of the two bikes, and this one is louder with the uh, geared uh, hub motors. I guess you could kind of look at it like this. To me, I, I've said before that the graffiti uh, I sit up higher. Well, I think it's the position they have you in, right? Where uh, the seat maybe is up a little closer to the handlebars and having different handlebars, the BMX handlebars, they have you uh, in a different position as well and just overall it feels like I'm sitting in a pickup truck compared to this one more like a car even though my hands are up higher here on the uh, handlebars but uh it's funny because I'll say it that way but yeah when you drive the two this one feels like a truck almost uh, for the driving part whereas the uh, 
where the gra uh, graffiti is a lot smoother and well, like your Cadillac. As I put it into overdrive here, all-wheel drive to get up that hill. Lots of gravel in the uh, in the uh, bike lane here, which is not my favorite to be riding in there. But it's kind of nice to have both bikes. You know, you can go back and forth and, and uh, I get to actually uh, ride both, whether w w there's some things I may like on one and some on the other, but having both, I can go back and forth. Really, I don't think it's a bad idea to have more than one bike if you can afford it and have the uh, space to have more than one bike because they do take up a lot of room. So it's got that and it's got the Uh, you know costing a lot of money so I don't know what my limit would be for how many I own, would own I'd have to get to that point I don't see why if I could fit them all in my place having a half a dozen bikes I'd be okay with that Sure is fun just saying oh what do I feel like riding today you know and then pull out one of your other bikes just to be different you know and it gives everybody out there who's watching you know some a different look too and um, hopefully uh, my uh, bike collection will grow a little bit also uh, I have mentioned this before but uh, I'll mention again that someday here I'd like to get a scooter the stand-up uh, kick uh, kick star, uh, kick uh, scooter. Uh, I don't need the seat on it. I just want to do a uh, stand-up on it. Uh, I don't think I would ride it very far, but just to rip around a little bit around here in my neighborhood, or maybe over to the parks and stuff like that. Heck, I'd probably even ride it to work since I'm only a mile away. I wouldn't want to go more than. You know, within the round trip ride, eight miles or so, four miles each way maybe, or 10 miles. I don't know what their battery life or anything like that is uh, like on a scooter. I don't know what, you know, anything about scooters. I've not uh, really gotten too serious to look at purchasing one. You know, I did a little dabbling, just looking around a little bit, just to see what what you'd have to pay to buy one. And uh, but I didn't get serious about it uh, to the point where I was looking about, you know, looking at the prices and uh, exactly and uh, wattage and, and battery uh, size and all that. I didn't look into all that. But if I get more serious and I'm ready to buy one, then I will do my homework on it. can definitely feel that wind, the wind making it feel like it's in the 30s, mid-30s or so. Uh, there was a pretty gusty wind this morning, but uh, that's calmed down compared to what it was. <clears throat> it was uh, pretty cool. my battery is at 79 percent get across here quick before FedEx truck turns so 79 percent I'm running both batteries 
I wasn't quite fully charged, but I wasn't too far off. But I think using the E Huntsman tires uh, do drain your battery quicker. cyclist I wonder what they think when you go by them pass by them do they say something under their breath Or do they even care? I think it depends on the person. We're all different and some people will are more apt to curse something than, than others. But hey, it's a bike. Whatever way you want to travel should be your choice. If you want to ride an electric bike as opposed to a traditional bike, that's your decision. As the raindrops keep falling on my X Needle helmet, Yeah, this bike uh, definitely has a different feel to it than the graffiti. Speed limit around here is 25 miles an hour. So that means I could be get up there at about 25. I need a cruise control. That'll help me set the uh, speed and just keep it there. But it's pretty hard to get going with cruise control for very long unless you're going on a longer commute and you have good stretches you know where you don't have to slow down or anything If you're wondering where my mirror is, I just thought about it myself. I did have a mirror here on the left side. I took it off. When I was uh, not riding it there, I took it off. So I, I don't know why I took it off, to be honest with you, but I did. I think it was for storing it, or where I was putting it anyway, to kind of make it easier. But, because the uh, bar end mirrors do stick out. Although the handlebars on the Grizzly are not as wide, they're higher, but they're not as wide as the Graffiti. So if you put, which I don't have anything yet on there, but I'm gonna probably get bar any uh, mirrors uh, for the Graffiti, or at least one, uh, that's gonna make it stick out even more. And so if you're going through anywhere like a doorway, like I take it through, then uh, it makes it, so you have to turn the, uh, wheel handlebars at least that's what i have to do to get it through a regular doorway it's raining but it's just light i guess some people call that more like the annoying rain <clears throat>
all right well that's going to do it for another video here on the channel if you uh, like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel hit the subscribe button and that's appreciated as we grow our channel here if you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel hit that notification bell and you'll be notified also if you'd like to purchase the lyric graffiti not the bike i'm on now but the other bike i have if you're interested in one of those i do have a link in the description and there is a discount code oregon ebiker mark all one word that's oregon ebiker mark if you use that discount code you will save yourself 150 dollars on a lyric graffiti bike so once again thank you for joining me for this ride out on the aerial rider grizzly And until next time. Take care.